New WWE 2K24 leaks have come out. We're also gonna talk about some custom championships you need to download today and a few other things that are coming up. So the first thing, I apologize. Come here, I'm sorry. It's my faction. It's my faction related. No, oh, come on! But this could be some good news. Thanks to Witty the G, shout out to him. He's a fantastic creator in the 2K community. Has gone ahead and he's found, he's done a little digging in there and he's found out that there's gonna be new My Faction content in the form of Persona cards. And he's given us a full list and breakdown of all the Persona cards that we can expect. This is good news in one regard because it's a lot of superstars. It's a lot of models, but I do have some criticisms for this. And if all this stuff does come out this year, because I'm not a fan of all of it. So let me explain. So again, Witty the G came out with the full list of the upcoming Persona cards that we could look forward to. Booker T 2001, Braun Breaker 2023. There's a CM Punk pack from the looks of it, which is gonna give you Punk 2010, it's mass version, Piper in brackets, which could be CM Punk with a Rowdy Rowdy Piper shirt on, you never know. Straight Edge Society CM Punk, to pause there, if we're gonna get a CM Punk Persona cards, maybe by like, let's say Survivor Series, which was his big return to WWE and it was phenomenal, I would think that that would be a perfect time to release it. You're right around the time of the final DLC as well. But if we are gonna get four versions of CM Punk in the form of Persona cards, that's not bad, especially if they have different looks. Would they have a different theme song? Fireburns? Maybe, maybe not. It's, it remains to be seen. Dominic Mysterio Mask. This is probably his WrestleMania mask look when he came out for the entrance, when he came out uh, to fight Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. I hope it is, that'll be really cool. You got Elite Bray Wyatt, Elite Roman Reigns, and Elite Tiffany Stratton. Those would be the toy versions, the Mattel toy versions of these characters. The downside with those is that like the Bray Wyatt one would be super cool. The downside with the Mattel action figures, the elite figures, is that to start, they release them like in the US only and you gotta go to Target and then get it, buy a toy, get the code, and then you get that model. So unless people can help each other out, it's hard to get their hands on these, but they do tend to put these out into live events later on to be able to unlock them that way. So just looking at that list alone for like part one of what Witty the G has sourced for everybody, what do you think? Do any of those stand out to you? Like I said, Punk Pack for Persona cards, that looks cool. Dom Mysterio, yeah, with the mask. Again, if he's got a little bit of an updated look, but if it's literally like just Dom with the mask, like a Lucha mask, and it's the same character that we got at like launch, then that that's not good, that's not right. So it should be a little bit different based off his earlier look. And then now, imagine next year what Dom's gonna look like in the game. He'll have the mustache and everything. It'd be kind of cool. The elite figures, I do like them. It's a, that roster of elite figures is building out quite nicely. I like the toy model looks. Like, I think they're kind of fun, but I don't like at all that they're not available. Like, I'm in Canada, the UK can't get their hands on them. So it's nearly impossible to get these elite figures. Okay, the second half of this list that Winnie the G has put out, it looks like this. You also have elite Rhea Ripley, which I know a lot of people will be excited to get their hands on Rhea. That's what she said. Hollywood Hogan Wolf Pack. It's probably leaning towards a Wolf Pack pack because we are gonna get that WCW pack in November. There's a distinct possibility here with as we go through this list that that's what's gonna happen. They got John Cena 2006, John Cena 2009, Kevin Nash Wolf Pack, Kevin Owens Stone Cold in brackets, King Booker, King Corbin, King Nakamura. Now. This is getting into some of the problems. Like there, there's very, there's goods and bads in here. We'll finish up this list. This right here, like this little bulk here, we've had that. That has been in the game. And it's not, that's not right. Like we have had these characters in the video game, but now they are going into being persona cards for you to get. A lot of volume in terms of the amount of persona cards that if this is all gonna come out this year, that's a lot, that's great. But recycling the exact models that we've had in the previous years and paywalling them, I ain't a fan of that. They also have Lex Luger, Wolfpack, Liv Morgan, 2022, Macho Man Randy Savage, Wolfpack, Mankind, 1996, The Miz, 2011, and Mr. Perfect, Wolfpack. So a lot to do with the Wolfpack. If I look at those again, you got Hollywood Hogan, you've got Kevin Nash, you've got Lex Luger, Macho Man, and Mr. Perfect. Again, would probably line up with the WCW pack at the end of the year to finish things off. Hey, it's Matt from the future. So uh, I also forgot that there is another page for <laughs> the leaks for the My Faction content. Nikki A.S.H., Ravishing Rick Rude, Wolf Pack, Rey Mysterio 2009, Rhea Ripley, brackets, Triple H. 
Okay. Scott Hall, Wolfpack, which makes sense. Scott Steiner, 1998, Big Dad Booty Daddy, Scott Steiner, Wolfpack, Super Cena, and Triple H 2002. That's all they know so far from Witty the G. And it furthers this point of like a lot of rehash stuff in terms of Ray 09, Nikki ASH. I think that Wolfpack pack could be very interesting. Triple H 02, I need the My Time theme. But if I'm getting a different version of Triple H that's actually different, that we wanted forever, I'll be happy with that. But anyways, back to the video. But a lot of the models are recycled from years prior, and I don't like that at all. The other thing is that what's the status, shout out to him, but he was able to dig up earlier that there were three My Faction Persona cards that they have added, Undertaker 2020, Macho Man with the Slim Jim look, and they have prototype John Cena. Now, Status has gone ahead and he has recreated these within WWE 2K, so you can go and download them, use the hashtag, what's the status, you'll be able to find them, and you just download these bottles that are, like, they're, they're identical. So instead of battling it out for Persona cards for these, but this gets into kind of the problem with this. And again, I'm looking at the list here of what Witty put out, and Punk, Pack, I'm cool with, but like Booker T should just be in the game the Elite figures, I understand putting those as Persona cards. That's fine to me. The John Cena's we've had in the previous game, like they take stuff out now and they're putting them in as Persona cards. Mankind 96, I like Mankind. Again, you could, I mean, would you put him as a DLC, like a normal DLC or a Persona card? I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. But the King Booker Corbin Nakamura, I don't like that. And it depends how the models are varied. Like, is Kevin Owens literally gonna have same look and everything just with a different t-shirt or like a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt that's kind of exclusive? Maybe, and that ain't right. The other thing is all of this is that it's the pricing. And we've talked about my faction before on the channel, but one of the big critiques and one of the concerns I have with this one specifically with these leaks is what's the pricing model gonna look like? Right now in the my faction, like in the shop, it's all over the place because some cards are priced much lower and they're fairly obtainable. Like you could get them and even in the live events. Also from the time of this recording, the Seth Rollins Shield, there's gonna be a live event where you're finally gonna be able to get Seth Rollins Shield version as long as you have the associated cards with it to do the live event. But it's it's getting a little bit cheaper and a little bit more obtainable, but it's still all over the place. Like a Becky Lynch card is still costing you like 30 or $40 for some reason. And it's, it's not anything different. The other thing with all of these persona models that we're looking at and for these leaks, if they do come out, I'm excited. It's more content, but the pricing little all over the place. And also they're all locked. So remember that too. If you do end up going for these persona cards or the ones that have been released, like prototype John Cena, Undertaker 20, Macho Man, all of their models are locked, so you're not able to customize anything, the entrance, the ring attire, nothing, and that is part of the problem here. It's a ton of content, and I do like that, but I worry now for what we're gonna be doing in 2K25, because I assume that in 25, we will get, you know, some updates, it'll be a little bit better or improved slightly, then 2K24, it's not gonna revolutionize anything, but I do think that it's going to lean more into the My Faction stuff, and if this is part of the plan for this year alone, and the game has kind of gone down, and it's simmered down, and people's interest in it has gone down a lot, my concern is that next year, they do more and more of this recycled content model. It makes sense. I understand it from their side of like, well, we have these assets, we have this content, we have the licensing for these characters, let's use it, let's make some money. I think fans would much prefer just a traditional DLC pack for them to just buy. They're doing it through the My Faction model. I get it, but you put these restrictions on it. Like I can't customize, I can't edit anything with the models. And also the pricing is just so out of whack. Now switching gears a little bit because we have custom content that's in the game that you really need to get your hands on. So Witty the G, once again, he's a popular man this week. My goodness, he's all over the map, but he's come out with an entire WWE Championship template pack for the titles, for custom titles that are using the in-game models and versions of the title belts that you can go and you can customize, and make them look a lot better. So they use the templates and hidden templates for WWE Championships. They're a lot of fun to be able to tinker with and get things a lot more accurate. A lot of creators online have gone through and they've already uploaded a ton of title belts. I do want to shout out Don Don. So hashtag Don Don online and community creations because Don came out and re-uploaded basically all of the main titles and the World Heavyweight Championship so far. And what is the difference between these belts and the in-game ones that you're gonna get? 
Well, the main thing is that they're just kind of tweaked to look a little bit better. You got like the World Heavyweight Championship is shinier, it looks a little bit better. I noticed that with the Undisputed Championship, it just looks better, it shines better. It doesn't look dull and flat. All of these do work in universe mode. It's a great way to substitute out all the existing titles and put in all of these custom ones. He's also got the tag team titles in there. So everything has been put in the game and these belts, because of the templates that Woody the G put out, they look better. They just look better. And you'll find way more online too. So from Randy Orton holding the world title, you got Kurt Angle with the United States Championship. The belts look better. And I'm really happy that they have done this. It kind of rejuvenates some, some of these titles, man. Now let's talk about the next two DLC packs that are gonna be coming out for the game. And we're less than a month away from the next one, but these are stretched way out. And I think that they are going to supplement content with the My Faction stuff that we covered here that were based on the leaks. The DLC four pack is gonna be the Global Superstars pack coming out September 18th. Jade Cargill, Nia Jax, Michelle McCool, Carlito, Kyrie Sane, Lyra Valkyria, and Dragon Lee with the My Faction content going with it. You should be expecting to see a lot of additional contents in here from moves. We know that Carlito's Apple is going to be a functional usable weapon that's going to be included. There is a possibility that there's going to be even more added in there for moves and more custom stuff for this DLC pack because there seem to be trying to do one or two new customization options, whether it be weapons or they're adding more moves. They try to do a little bit more with each DLC pack, except for the Pat Pack. Pat Pack was trash. I think we can all move on from that. Then you got November 13th. You got the WCW pack. This one, very excited for. And it would probably makes sense if they do that Wolf Pack pack that they have a go with this. But this is going to give you DDP, Iron Sheik, Mr. Perfect, Great Muda, and Lex Luger. And there are rumblings that we would also get the Fall Brawl WCW War Games Arena. I really hope that's the case. This lines up with WWE War Games in November. And if they're going to give us that, maybe a Punk pack because of Punk's return in November at War Games and Survivor Series, all of that kind of mingles together and it'd be really good fan service. The issue I have is simply the release dates for all of this. They're really spread out. And if you're going to give us my faction content in between, it's priced all over the map. And then the other thing, everybody, is that once the final DLC comes out and maybe they give you all of like the my faction content and recycled packs, the problem is, is then the next game comes out a few months later and then they shut the servers down. So it's this perpetuating cycle and I get it. It's the video game industry and it's just part of it now. And I get it. You either buy that stuff and you engage with it and you don't have to. It is an option. You do have the choice. I just don't like how people will want to get their hands on some cool content and then they can't even use it three months later because maybe they want to hold off on 2K25. Or worse yet is that we end up seeing a lot more my faction content with recycled models. We're already seeing this right now with like Prototype Cena, Undertaker. They were in the games before and now they're paywalling them. And it's it's kind of like why? Like you shut the servers down, you lock out that roster. And if you had like the showcase star with John Cena with 15 different versions of him, now you're putting it in there. So I can totally expect by next year they would release five versions of Rey Mysterio, you know, like his Halloween Havoc gear, etc., and putting those behind my faction into paywalls because that will lift up their content and they already have those models just sitting there. But let me know what you think regarding my faction content that's leaked and that could be coming out. And for more WWE 2K24 news, click right here, guys. We've got a lot more to talk about. Have a great day. See ya.